Hello everyone, welcome. So um, Assetto Evo just launched, Assetto Corsa Evo just launched and uh, obviously it's that time where we deal with another, yet another one early access. And uh, in this case, you know, uh, we are trusting that Assetto Corsa, I mean, their studio knows what they're doing because they had two previous games uh, let's say I, I guess they were optimized enough so uh, let's take it as a normal early access and it it's it for sure gonna get optimized uh, but it definitely needs uh, new configurations settings and so on and I uh, went through some pain and I decided to make this video as usual to help others go through this more easily so uh, for now I have not discovered a way to run the game as iRacing does, so even if you have four screens connected, for example, you do not have the possibility to set the screens through the config and through the game and so on. So there's less uh, options to deal with triple screen setup. For now, the only way I was able to run this is through one single resolution uh, with the extended um option through nvidia to make a one resolution extended and i'll show you exactly what this means i won't go through how to make a surround so this involves surround spanning a nvidia option uh, but i will not go through how to create this resolution in fact i am planning to make a, a new video just for this to how to create this resolution but for Assetto Corsa, what you need to know is that you will need one resolution that will be used for the whole. It's like going to be one resolution with all the screens that will be used in Assetto Corsa. But I haven't seen a way to like not worry about this and just connect your screens and deal with them in the game. Not yet. Or I don't know about it yet. But this is just it's, it's a way to run triple screen. It's going to work for sure because I tested it and I want to show you. However, again, to create a resolution that is like this one that you see here, 7680 by 1440. So uh, a, a large resolution made by three screens. I will make a separate video for that uh, probably in the next week or so if you guys need it. Uh, there are many online, but again, I want to do one myself. However, let's go through it. Once you create this resolution, so you have this resolution that connects these screens. So as you can see, I move the window left and it's a one screen. It wouldn't, I wouldn't even need this, right? So I wouldn't even really need the, the, best, the Asus uh, raw kit here. But uh, just so you know, it's going through the screens uh, as a single screen. Um, and uh, let's go into the game and I'll show you once you set this resolution how to set it up in game you need to make sure you have this resolution done before you launch the game otherwise if you do this while in game it will not really update well and have issues it will go black screen uh, on the left side or right side and so on so make make the one surround resolution and then launch the game as you can see, we're in the game and currently for me it's working, as you can see. But uh, if you launch the game the first time and you don't have that resolution, in here at the aspect ratio, you will already notice that you don't have that big resolution, right? Because you need to create it in your NVIDIA panel and that's the purpose. That's why you need to do that surround resolution in order to be able to detect it in the game here, right? But if you didn't do that, you would probably just see 16 by 9. And here you could choose just this. And the game would look like this, right? So if this, the, this is the case and you don't see a different aspect, aspect ratio that lets you choose then a big resolution like 17, 60, 80 or whatever, then it means you need to shut down the game and make that resolution. You did it. So I did it. I won't need to do it. I launched the game and i need to find the right aspect ratio to find the right resolution as you can see i'm gonna go through these and i go 6 4 and i have 1940 1440 the largest and so on and it will make sense for you once you do this right so you say oh no i can't find that resolution that's because 
you need to find the right aspect ratio for that surround resolution you made, right? And you can see here, I went through all these and I didn't find it yet. Bam, bam, and I didn't find it, and I didn't find it. Then, suddenly, this, obviously, this native, I don't know if I want to trust it. You could just try to see if, in your case, native will correspond to the right one. It should, it should, but it's an early access game. So, go through them, 16 by 3, and definitely, I found my resolution here, which is the same resolution we have here. That's what we need, right? Here, obviously, I don't want 160 hertz. I don't know why is it like this, but whatever. Once you set it here, uh, you need to have full screen off and apply. Full screen, make sure it's off. Vertical sync, it's off. But that's the way you set the screen, uh, the screen part. In here, you don't need to worry too much. First thing I did is I started going through this uh, because I had multiple... Uh, screens here detected. I enabled triple screen, but not it did not work uh, to select this for the reasons I mentioned earlier. One thing you could do, you could launch the game the first time just to toggle on triple screen only, vertical sync off, full screen off. You could also do this, right? So first, this is actually a recommended way. You launch the game, whatever, it doesn't work. Your screens don't get detected. It will only be on one monitor, in this case one. You go vertical sync off, full screen off, triple screen on, um, and apply and exit the game. Then you make your surround, if you don't have it already, or maybe you already did it. Restart the game after you change these three. Launch the game again. Select the correct aspect ratio, select your resolution, apply, and it should work as expected. Now, for the graphic settings, which is the second part I want to focus on. Also, if you have questions uh, on the resolution thing, let me know again to, on how to make a resolution for this game or any game that doesn't have uh, native support for like any number of, of uh, of screens and you need to make these resolutions around which is a sad thing it's really sad that we have to do this in 2025 but hey we got to do it and if you have any questions um you can ask them uh, maybe someone can answer i will answer or i'll do my best to answer to everything but if uh if you need to know how to make a surround uh resolution again i will make a video for this or just go check out youtube there's Many, many great videos on YouTube that explain it. Uh, many, many are very complicated, and that's why I want to make one to make it simpler and not go through details too much. Even, even because I don't really know many aspects about the technicality of it, just to do it and get it done, I'll show you. So, uh, yeah, that was the first part of the video. The second part of the, of the video I want to focus on is briefly the graphic settings. I had really tough time with the uh, I tweaked all these uh, settings um, not many of them really give you a boost in frames this game is running pretty badly um, I do have a strong computer 3080 Ti with i7 uh, 12700K 32 gigs of RAM 54 5200 MH I don't remember exactly now and it's running pretty bad uh, I don't have the worst computer I don't have the latest computer, but I do have a decent computer to run most really good graphics in most games. This is not a game that will allow you to like go crazy on the details. I'm the sort of guy that likes to keep as much details. I really enjoy the graphics, especially how they launched this Assetto Corsa Evo. It was like, oh, impressive looking cards and stuff. I was already thinking, hey, the details will be hard to keep for this, especially the first year probably gonna be really hard to like see the full details of the game you need to run it like super low and it looks kind of crappy for my expectations if you ask me but it's understandable it's early access we need to give it time hopefully these settings will be able to be used i'll go through them uh, and i'll show you that the ones i kept higher are not really affecting me too much but this is for my setup however i went mostly low um uh, upscaling can help you as well but again it will make the game look so ugly and i never use it in any game not even shooters and so on so i'll show you my settings slowly if you want to copy 
Again, I tried to preserve as much as I could out of this. Okay, so these are the settings. So I'll launch the game to show you how this looks. I'll make a separate video on how I set up my um, wheel, base, and pedals. Because this has to be a separate video. Uh, so if you're interested in that, keep an eye on the channel. Or subscribe to the channel. Now, this is good that it's happening. Because you can see the whole screen is dark. And I don't see anything. I went in a session. And this happened the first time I set it up. And as you noticed, I, I set it correctly. In the menu, I see the car. Do not panic. Exit the game and restart it. It's good that it happened because I had it the first time. So it's something with the game. I'm going to restart the game now. I didn't change anything to the graphics settings. And I uh, left Imola. This is very odd because as you can see, it's on the, the whole screen. In the menu, I was seeing everything correctly, but in the in the race, I don't see anything. Again, these issues happen in early access. They're like super weird issues that happen. And you can see I still have this back screen. I changed the aspect ratio and it looks like it works let's go back to my resolution because i don't want to use that resolution and now it's working so there you go uh i restarted my computer thinking it's something wrong maybe with the game recognizing my uh, gpu or whatever but as you noticed it didn't fix so what i did you just saw it live that's why i like recording everything because these issues could happen to you and maybe it will help you so I changed the game to any random resolution and then I went back to the same resolution that was not working and now it's working. So it, this is the miracle of early access. Um, yeah. I just want to show you that it fits pretty well in the screen and there's no issue whatsoever with my setup. But here comes the fun part. I'm running at 40 frames, by the way, so this is just for you to know that it's not on your end. I won't discuss too much feedback and everything. I'll talk about it in the other video that I will make about how to set up your wheel. I use C Magic, but I think it will work for all of them, right? So let me show you the other thing that you need to do after you set your, your resolution. Uh, it's it's a couple of things that I want to show you because they're interesting. So the first thing is the camera. If you press F1, you'll have this camera. And if you go and uh, press escape and go to view settings, then you go to wheel and dash. You can see here it says all visible, but you don't see the hands. Even if you go like this, you don't see anything. See, you're missing the wheel. You're missing everything. Even if you go distant, you will see that you don't see like this is for people that played uh, never played Assetto Corsa. This was an issue also in the other game. It is not really an issue. This is how they intended. And if you press F1 instead, it changes through the drive cameras. And now you can see that I with the the setting I set, which is all visible, it affects this camera, but not this. Yeah. So keep this in mind, because I, I kept changing stuff since I haven't played Assetto Corsa for a while. So that's another thing you need to remember. Now, we're on the right camera because I see the wheel, right? So I am on the right camera. And this is the second part of after you set your resolution. Uh, I want to go here to set correctly the triple screen. My distance from the screen is about 740, but I go 730 because... Sometimes I move. So this is 73 centimeters, 731 millimeters. As you can see, it will bring it closer if you are farther. Obviously, it makes sense because you want to see better if you're this. So it's like a, a proportion for that. So I leave it to 730. More 730 is fine. Uh, screen width, you can check it on your uh, 
on your whatever screen you have stats. So let's say Samsung G5 Curve 32, which is mine. Okay, so you want to go to uh, dimensions. Again, ignore that it's Romanian. You can see your dimensions here. Um, so just check on your... Uh, this this measure, by the way, is the, the total amount of your screen. So it's not just your screen. It's the total amount of your monitors, uh, including the bezels. So this is the thing. You can check it on your product. You go on their website to check it out. Bam, bam. Easy. Then bezel width. You set this if you need it. Because uh, in my case, I don't need it since I use the kit to uh, like the, the whatever um, Asus kit and I don't need it but for this one otherwise you would have to play with it based on your size so if the bezel is two or three millimeters you put it three and it will make it fit better you can see here right so it would connect this edge with the other edge right see if I go on zero for me it's good because it's the way I set it up it matches see but for you that angle might look weird for you but for me it's perfect right so keep that in mind a screen angle is how your screens connect to the center screen what is the angle there is a tool you can use to set, uh, check this i won't go in details you can find it yourself however if you're like not too sure about it 45 is the middle way 45 degrees is the middle way like the angle uh play with it or it would be good to have an accurate angle with a tool that you can check. There are YouTube videos for it. Uh, but for me, it's 45 and it's good. So these are settings you need to change after you set your resolution for sure. Um, the other part that I was telling you about. So if you wanted to uh, see the hands or hide screen and everything, you see that it's changing. But remember to set that camera because I spent some time and I wasted some time. I couldn't I was changing here and nothing was changing here and I forgot that I said of course I has this different camera that it looks like it's cockpit but it's not the same and it never shows anything so uh yeah that's another thing and with the rest you can play camera over here FOV it's unavailable for this camera but it's available for the others uh and so on so you can play with the rest but the main important thing is here for sure this has to be changed based on your settings this will be the video for how to set your um, your your briefly your resolution your triple screen how to use it and what settings can help you improve. I will make a, hopefully also the settings I shared about graphics will help you. I can't go over 50 55 frames. I mostly stay at 40 45. I noticed because I checked before I made the video. So yeah, sadly it's, it's a great looking game, but. You have to go make it look like worse than i racing. It's actually cl jittery, cluttery. It's all so it's just bad for the eyes. Um, like I would prefer have a, an older engine that is cleaner. Like i racing for me needs improvements in uh, in graphics, but at least it's clean. It doesn't give me a headache. This one I had to go with shadows and stuff. It's like you can see over here. It's like little jittery stuff it is, i hate it i i usually just look at those when i drive look at this mirror like this mirror looks 10 times worse than i racing uh even though i racing has performance issues on the mirrors but i can't i don't know it's a new release you have two games before this and i don't find it acceptable however this doesn't mean i, I will be fine it's just constructive criticism i hope it will help them and if it reaches them they understand uh so it's good that we talk about it. Uh, but uh, hopefully this stuff helped you. I will make a video on the feedback and how to connect your steer, uh, steering and pedals to it. And well, what tricky settings might be there. And I might make a video for the surround resolution. But again, there are videos out there that can help you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, let's see Assetto Corsive. What can they do in the next couple of weeks? three weeks. It's going to be important. Have a great day and enjoy your driving. Bye.